Hey, buddy. What's up? Ready for a trip? Yeah? All right, let's go. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So as many of you know, I've been shopping around for creep feeders to put in with my calves for the summer to help bulk them out. And I took some suggestions from you guys. You guys had a lot of great suggestions and I've got it down, narrowed down to two kind of brands. There's tons of brands out there, but there are two that are pretty close that I'm trying to choose between. And the first one being Apache and the second one being Work Weld. So I'm gonna head up to Linecaster and I'm gonna stop and have a look at the Apache. And then um, I think that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna settle on the Work Weld right now, but um, I wanna go just have another look at the Apaches just to, just to make sure that I'm making the right choice. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Work Welds. We have an Apache Creep Feeder on the farm now. Uh, it is a good unit. I think it could use a rain shield on it, which is something that we could fabricate ourselves if I were to buy an Apache. Um, and it does have an agitator inside it, which helps knock down any of the corn that might be stuck on the inside, which I don't believe the Work Weld has. So that's the major downside with going with Work Weld. Um, however, I did go up and have a look at the Work Welds and I was actually pretty satisfied with the build quality on them. Um, so we're gonna go up there and I'm gonna, I got my checkbook on me, so I wasn't totally planning on buying one today, but Travis and I had gone up and saw it work well as it was leaving a lot last week. And we went in and talked to them and they said that they were gonna have some coming this week. So I wanna go up there and just have a look at them. And um, I'll decide and see if we come home with one. So with that, let's head out. Now we're here at Pioneer Ag in Lancaster, and I'm just wanting to look over these Apaches that they got on the lot. And uh, we stopped and looked at them just real quick once, but I didn't really get a close look at them. So these are pretty well known for their quality. Uh, people have been pretty happy with them. So what this is, is that agitator in the center that knocks down the corn. So the one we got, that handle is broken off of it. So I don't even know if it turns. Um, once you get some nastier corn in there, I know that those have a tendency to lock up, or at least in our experience they have, um, on the ones that we've had that have had agitators. So these are the creep panels. What the creep panels will do is keep the cows from getting into the feed. So if I wanna put this out in the pasture for the calves, I'll put some oats, uh, maybe a little bit of corn and whatever else that I want to throw in them out there for the calves and then they can just snack on it whenever they want. Um, from what I've heard that creep feeding out in the pastures does a lot to help bulk up your calves and um, I'm looking for efficiency here so I kind of want to get the calves grown and gone as soon as possible. The creep panels have a set of holes so you can kind of switch up how small you want the calves to be when they can get in there. And um, I would think I would have them up all the way all the time just because I don't really care. Just as long as the cows can't get in, I really don't have a preference. So there's a lot of rust on these, I'm noticing. Um, especially for just getting on the lot because these, I don't believe, were here two weeks ago. I believe these are 150 bushel creep feeders. I'm gonna guess so, 150. All right, Rocket, you had enough? Have you seen all there is to see here? <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna go have a look at those work welds now.
So here's the work weld. Let's have a look. So here on the rain shield, we've got tack welds. That's something important to note. Uh, tack welds. So these can be set up as either creep feeders or steer stuffers. This one you're looking at is set up as a steer stuffer because it's got the skids on the bottom. I believe that allows it to hold more weight as compared to being on wheels or a creep feeder. The benefits of having the wheels on there is that you can move it around a little bit easier, which is something that I would really want to use one of these for. So this one has been sitting here for a little bit of a while. but I'm not looking at a steer stuffer today. Um, you can order them set up as either, but I believe to have them on the skids is a little bit more expensive. Let's have a look on the inside. So as you can see, there's nothing really down there to agitate the corn. Um, that's a downside for me. Um, I'm looking at all the tack welds all along it. Not really liking that, but I've got to make a decision on what I want. So they have two of them that I'm interested in. So this is how you adjust your feed right here, how much they can access. So we're heading back home now. As you can see, I decided to go with the work weld. Uh, we're taking a nice slow stroll through the countryside because it says to only go 30 miles an hour with it. But I decided to bite the bullet on the work well just because we've had Apache and I want to try something new. So uh, I'll be sure to let you guys know how this thing works for us if we have any problems with it. But um, I don't think that it should be really any real issue. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So we're heading back up to the farm. I'm going to drop this thing off until I'm ready to take it out to the pasture and set it out for my calves. We are going to leave it out in the pasture all summer long. I'm going to fill it with oats and probably a little bit of corn. Uh, I'm probably going to get that from light breeds. And then um, when we bring the calves in off pasture this fall, we'll probably put this in the pole shed and leave the other one in the steer lot. And uh, that way they're going to spend more time on the creep feeder. Uh, we'll have two creep feeders that way and hopefully we'll be feeding out of buckets a lot less. What Travis and I discovered after using a creep feeder versus feeding on buckets is that you'll actually go through less feed through a creep feeder. And the reason I think is because the calves have access to it full time. Um, when you dump it into the bunk, they aren't just going at it and stuffing themselves full. And I would bet that a lot of that corn just runs right through them rather than being utilized. So by having access full time to the creep feeder, they can just kind of gradually eat off of it, hopefully slowly putting on that weight gain. And uh, it should bulk them up faster in the long run. So uh, we're heading home and this is probably gonna be about a 10 minute drive considering how uh, slow I have to go, but Wisconsin roads, man. <laughs> We just got back home with the work weld. I am going to unhook it, drop the creep panels. Uh, I'm going to flip up the rain shield and just leave it here for now. Um, I'm gonna have a look on the inside of it just to see what it looks like and make some more decisions.
<laughs> so at this point, I'm starting to ask myself, is there anything I can do on the inside of this to keep it from rusting? Because um, if I could take you down and show you the Apache, the worst spots for rusting are where the cattle are gonna be and the very bottom of this feeder. So what I'm kind of thinking about doing is going and maybe getting like some flex seal, uh, maybe not even flex seal for the inside. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what I come and find. But uh, dad mentioned that I could put graphite paint along the walls and on the inside which I don't think is a bad idea. But then down at the bottom, yeah, I kind of want to do something to keep it from rusting out too bad or kind of do as much as I can to keep it from rusting out. And the inside, for the most part, is bare. They do have a layer of paint on the bottom down there, as you can probably see, to, to kind of help with that. But even the doors, I mean, I'm not totally sure if I even want to do anything to them because I don't want them to lock up, which if they rust, they might. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, what I'm thinking right now is going and getting some flex seal, doing at least the feed trough on the outside, uh, because that is one of the worst points for rusting and, um, maybe go from there. Uh, I'll just have to see if what I want to do on the inside here, but yeah, it's pretty much just plain steel in here. So if we could do something to slow down the rusting, that would be fantastic. But I'm looking forward to filling this thing up and taking it out to the pasture and getting my calves on feed. In our what? <laughs> in our next video, I'm going to be looking into painting the work weld, so be sure to tune in for our next one. With that, I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.